Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get indium out of CPUs. The indium is actually worth more than the gold if it has indium in them. Many don't have indium, it's rare you actually find an indium one. I'm not sure if this one has indium in, but I do know that these ones do. But anyway, I'm just going to show you how to do them. Normally when you cut them off, the um, like if you cut the lids off, you break the silicon die and it's hard to separate the silicon die from the indium. To stop that from happening, you can just get one of your old caps or just a piece of metal and you get the CPU. You stick the cap on top and then you hit the top with a hammer, hit the cap. I'll see if I can show you. So you hold that like that. So the cap goes on top there. And you just hit it with a hammer. I don't want a brick. As you see it come off, this one doesn't have indium. That one has a silver paste. I think this is the same type. Yep, silver paste, so that's no good. I'm not sure how you remove silver from the silver paste. There will be, if I do find out, I will do a video on it. These ones I know do have indium, and indium is stronger, so it's going to be much harder to get off. Always do it from either the bottom or the top, never do it from the side. As you can see it's stuck down quite well. There we go. So as you can see, if they have it, the indium always has a gold part around the outside. If it has a gold part, this part is always indium. And as you see, the silicon die hasn't broken. I had this idea from 999 Doosan, so feel free to check out his channel. Anyway, to remove the engine from that, you can just use a flattered screwdriver and just uh, scratch it. Indium is, I think, the softest metal on the planet, so it's pretty simple just to scratch off. Indium is actually worth more than silver, and this on here is indium. It's all indium, it's pure. You can just scratch the rest off your nail. It's also got a melting point of about, I can't remember what it was, I think it was uh, around 200 degrees. So even a lighter, like a lighter used for cigarettes, would mount it. And on top here also has indium, so you can scratch that off. So that little pile there, you can just get a cheap butane torch will do it. As you see it's melted already, you need to join the parts together. It has a lower melting point than solder. So, very easy to mount. I'm just going to join it all together into one bead because they seem to want to stay separate for some reason. I'll do another video soon about indium to explain the metal to you a bit more. Alright, it's mounted together now. So, we'll just let it cool down. I'll pause the video. So as you see, that's the piece of indium. We just hammer that. I can just hammer that into a piece like that so you can easily see it. Indium is very much... Oops, I dropped the camera. Indium is very much like... Um, silver, the colour. Simple to hammer. 
you normally get about half a gram of indium per cap so scrap value would be about 15p or 25 cents in america but if you sell that on ebay you can get three times the price just to show you how soft it is just bend it like you can bite into it, you can cut it with you know, you can get a giant bar and it can even be cut in half. Is that soft? But anyway, in the next few weeks I'll do a video on it. Just to show you what you can do with it. Thank you, bye bye. Just wanna add after the video I spent about two and a half minutes and I've done all, all this little pile. Managed to get all those gold caps. That one wasn't done today. But three of them had indium. Four of them had indium and two of them was rubbish. So that took two and a half minutes and that's basically a pound worth of indium. One to two pound it if you wanted to sell it on the internet. Uh, please look in the description on how to, on like groups to join to help you out. Thanks for watching, bye bye.